Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tax Agenda. And in this video, we will do the practice of Red Hat Exam 188. And in the in the exercise, we will learn a multi-container application in a network. So in this tutorial, we will understand the networking concept of Podman, and we will see how multi-container application will run by connecting with each other using this network. So let me understand the scenario here. Suppose our application need to run in multi-container. Suppose uh, running in container 1 and container 2. In container 1, we are running the web application and container 2, we are running the database. So how this uh, communication will happen? So uh, in a web application, we have to put the IP address of the database. So while using this IP address, web application will make connection to the database, right? So this is the normal scenario and it will work. But the problem will happen sub, uh, in the container environment because container environment is very volatile environment. And sometimes if health is not good of the database, that container could be restarted. So as soon as it will be restarted, so uh, uh, it will get the IP, it will get the new IP from the uh, available IP pool, right? And as soon as IP will be updated and will be changed for the database container, that connections between container 1 and container 2 will be break. So we have to update the new IP into the web application again to work it out, right? So how we can resolve this problem? To resolve this problem, what we can do, we can create a network and we can run both the container inside that network, right? We will bind the network to both the containers. Once this network is happening here, right, then instead of IP, we can access the network with the, we can access the container with the container name. We need not to use the IP address anymore, right? So let me go ahead and we'll see this whole scenario in the exercise. And this exercise is going to be very, very much important uh, in the exam perspective as well. So what we will do in this exercise, we will create a multi-container application and a network. So first we will create a network with the name of my app. We will create two volumes here, one volume for database, one volume for applications. Then we will run two containers, okay? And um, first container uh, name would be WordPress DB and um, uh, we will bind uh, our network, my app uh, uh, network here, and uh, we will attach the volume also, which we have created for the DB. Uh, some environment variable we will set so that our uh, app, uh, database will be up and running, and we'll use the MariaDB image. In the second container, we will uh, name it as WordPress app, uh, attach the network. Again, the same network we will attach to the both container. And uh, then volume, uh, the which volume, right? Uh, the app volume we will attach here. Um, and then we will bind the port as well. And we'll use some environment variables to run it, right? And connecting with the database. Uh, some important point I will discuss about once we will learn all this example. And then we have to use the image WordPress latest, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, do everything one by one. So here is our environment let me reconnect the environment again so this is our machine we already have the podman let me see the images so currently no images there and currently no processes is also running right so no container is running here okay so let me go uh, one by one so first we need to create a network my app okay so first thing is that we are we need to create network so for it we will use the network command podman network create and the network name network name is the my app my app Okay, so our network is created. If we wanted to see that what all other networks are here, then we can use the PS Podman network, uh, sorry, network uh, Podman network LS command. So we can see that this the network we recently created and this is the old uh, network is there, okay? And uh, let me go ahead and now we have to create two volumes. One volume is the MyDB wall and another would be my app wall, okay? So for it, the command would be kind of same. Podman volume and then create my DB 
wall okay my db wall so let me create it it is created the same let me create the another volume which is my app wall so it is again then okay let me see uh, all the volumes again so podman volume ls we can give and we can see that these two uh, volumes has been created in the local okay let me clear it now next thing now we need to run a container first and this is going to be our database container okay and the next container would be our uh, application container so let's first create the database container to container create the container we know we need to give podman run command our container will be run in the detached mode so we will give the hyphen d and the name of the container should be uh, should be wordpress db let me copy it so let me give the name it as wordpress db what is next um attach the network mic app so what the network we have created now we need to attach it so for it we will use the hyphen hyphen network and the network name network name is my app okay then attach the volume my db wall to uh, this location let me copy this one as well so for attaching volume we have to use the hyphen v and uh, then uh, this volume we created right and now we need to use the colon okay so we are binding our uh, volume which we have created i will show this volume also and the files once we will populate it okay uh, everything from the mysql will be populated automatically in this volume as we, i will show you after once we will run this so and this is the container location bar lib mysql now we have to set the following environment variables okay so let me do one thing here all the environment variables so that we can create our command so these are our environment variable each environment variable will start with hyphen e okay so let me quickly give it like that hyphen e Okay, let me copy this whole line and paste it here. Okay, so these are the all environment variable required to uh, run our uh, DB container. Okay, we need to set the uh, root password, the MySQL password, the database name would be the WordPress DB and the user should be the db user okay and same thing we will do once we will uh, run the wordpress application as well okay and so everything is done now the image image should be docker io maria db latest okay so uh, let me paste it here so we are done here with the everything let me execute it so it is trying to pull uh, the MariaDB image first from the Docker Hub. Let's wait for a while. It's done and container is also running. Okay, let me check with the um, podman ps a command. Okay, so our uh, MariaDB uh for is running okay and name is very very much important here because i told you that once we will uh do the communication in within a same network we will use the name of the container instead of the ip address okay so this is running and let me also see whether the volume which we have attached is working good or not right so uh for it we use the my db wall okay so let me inspect this volume how we can inspect it we will use the uh, podman uh, volume command and then inspect 
uh, inspect my DB wall, the name of volume. Uh, sorry, Podman. Um, sorry, inspect my DB. Okay, so here we can see the mount point is here, right? And let me select it and sorry. Let me select the location and let me see whether all the file has been populated or not. Yes, so you can see all the files from that MySQL has been populated, right? So this uh, volume binding is also uh, working good. Let me clear it. And now let for C to run the second container, okay? So in the second container the name should be wordpress app attach this right so let me start running it so podman podman run would be command we will run it again in background in detach mode and the name would be wordpress app hyphen hyphen name will be WordPress app, um, name attached the network my app. So we will use the hyphen hyphen network. My app, next is attach the volume. Let me copy it. So we will use the hyphen B and uh, we will uh, this volume my app wall to container var www html so we will use the colon here and var www html will be mapped okay uh, next is binding the port uh, local port 8004 to uh, container port 80 so we will use hyphen p and uh, 8004 local port bind to container port 80 and then the setting of the environment okay let me copy all these environment variables go back to our <clears throat> editor and here i will use the hyphen e Let me copy this whole line. Password. Yeah. My pass here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I am here. I uh, need to go to the our terminal and these are all our um, environment variable okay keep uh, see here wordpress db host okay so instead of ip address we are giving the wordpress uh, uh, contain uh, database container name wordpress db right that was our container name and the port number is 3306 in which the database is running okay other thing as related to the db name would be the wordpress db and user to connect it and the password to connect with the database okay so this all information we have provided uh, and uh, the next thing is uh, we need to, this need to be removed. This is not correct. Okay. Now we need to use the Docker IO WordPress latest. Okay, this is our image. Docker IO WordPress latest. Let me run it. It is trying getting the WordPress image from Docker. Let's wait for a while. We will continue once it's done. Okay, so it's completed. Let me see. 
department ps hyphen a okay so our um, uh, wordpress is also up and running and looking good and we can inspect the volume as well okay so uh, podman podman volume ps sorry it is podman volume ls and uh, let me inspect inspect a volume this is the location let me see whether we have all the index files and other things from the html location of the wordpress container yes so here is the index files and everything okay we require it so so far is going good everything podman ps hyphen a okay so our both container is up and running both container are binded with a single uh, network my app network okay so let me see and check whether our application is running or not okay so as you know that we have binded this is the ip address of my machine uh, application is running on HTTP port and we have binded local port 8004. Let me see whether application running. Yep. So application is up and running. Databases are also connected well. Uh, let me see by going net we access and next page. Yep. So everything is looking good. Our application in the both container are running. Okay. So what we did here we created one application, WordPress application here and uh, MariaDB database into the container too. And then we uh, bind a net, we, crea we created a network, my app, and we binded this network to both of the container. And in that way, both container are communicating with each other. So that's all for this uh, video and tutorial. Hope you will like it. Thank you.